If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. Hello everyone, this is the Kia EV3 with the small battery, 58 kilowatt hours, 55 kilowatt hours can be used and now we're gonna do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour because not everyone is driving 130, maybe you're in a country where you can drive 130 and you can also think of it as a mix if you drive country road and highway at the same time when you go to a trip or something. The car has a 19 inch summer tires on 215s and we're here at Ionity. I do, do a charging test right now and I'm gonna then uh, charge to I think 80% and then we go right on the highway and arrive with around 20 to 10% on the other side at the different Ionity. I'm on my way again, driving 111 on the speedometer now, which is 110 GPS speed. I started at 79%, I put the charge limit to 80%, it stopped charging. I got in the car, did a few things for two minutes and it went to 79% and I already seen in the battery care that it was with 1.3 kilowatt cooling the battery. It did that while charging too and then at 70% or so it stopped but then when I stopped charging it did it again. Huh. So we started with 79%. My uh, climate setting is on 21 degrees driver only. I don't think it's heating and I don't think it's... Uh, I have clima, a climate AC off as well. I can see it here. Climate is not drawing any power. So nice. I used 10% of my battery and drove 36.7 kilometers. So calculated full range 367 kilometers. But of course this is uh, very inaccurate, only using 10%. And the first 10 kilometers were also uphill. So I'm suspecting a bit more. And we're gonna go on. I used 25% of the battery and drove 86 kilometers. That's a full range of 344 kilometers. Um, it's just started raining like crazy just for a minute. Now it's just raining a tiny bit, but the road is wet. And I've seen on the other side where I have to go in 10 minutes that there was a traffic jam. Uh. So I don't know if it's because of the rain and someone is just driving slow, but it's really busy on the other side. It's really busy. It was horrible. We just stopped even on the other side. So I'm, I already turned around going back to uh, where we came from and then I have to go off somewhere else. But. Uh, a car broke down and then everybody stopped and and but it didn't take long but still a minute of uh, waiting what's going on and driving slow because it's so busy it's Sunday no trucks that's good but everyone is driving around from holiday to holiday 
so really really busy and driving 110 at this time is really hard because you have to pass slow cars and there are other cars coming from the back so you accelerate a bit uh, yeah that's how it is it's okay I just turned around, navigated back to the charger and I hit 30%, so I used 50% of the battery. I drove 172 and a half kilometers, so that's 345 kilometers calculated range. I have 85 kilometers of range, 58 kilometers to go. Car thinks I arrive with 4% um, and in, what's the time? Uh, 30 minutes so it thinks I drive 120 and therefore the state of charge will be higher and we will arrive we will uh, arrive later as well consumption is 173 watt hours per kilometer traffic on this highway here a92 is 10 billion times better but I'm going back to the horrible one but then there it's only 42 kilometers it's very possible that the uh, Ionity charger, which is on the main uh, uh, resting station on the highway, the last one before Austria, it's very possible, they even put up the sign already, traffic jam, because it's possible that so many people go in to fuel up before Austria, um, that I can't even go in and I will look at everything but drive on <laughs> so it's very possible i will not stop there and drive on and then when we stop i will uh, talk about the data very very possible um yeah and well it was really busy it raining 30 40 percent of the time i would say and wet road also the same it rained strong and crazy then it stopped and then it rained again it's really weird today 18 degrees though. I arrived with 12%, 232 kilometers. Google Maps says it's 236 kilometers, 169 watt hours per kilometer average consumption. And by the way, nothing for climate, nothing for battery care. So I calculated the range and I get to 347 kilometers on these horrible conditions. So like I said, 30% rain and then horrible traffic. It's busy here, but I could get in without any problem. I hope I can get out with any problem. Holiday traffic is always not the best. If you want to compare cars that I test, not just this result, there's a Google sheet in the description where all my range tests and results are in there. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Betty will have one. And if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I started vlogging on my third channel, Behind the Battery. Link is in the description as well. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.